March. Not your typical time for volleyball season. MTSU's team Honestly, is taking uh, it in stride. <laughs> That's, that may be typical, but the year may not be typical. Uh, that right there shows what our relationship is like in the gym, for sure. The COVID-19 pandemic moved the volleyball season from fall to spring this year. You know, it's been one of those years that you just have to be flexible and roll with it. There, you can't get upset about the little things. I think the biggest thing that we have to focus on is that we are blessed to be able to play a game that we love. A reshuffled season for a reshuffled roster six freshmen and six returning from last year's team that finished 10th in the conference. Yeah, it's it's like a lot different because last year, I mean, I was the freshman playing and we were very senior led. We were pretty old and now this year we're like having all these freshmen, newbies coming in, which is actually pretty cool. They're all coming in and a lot of them are playing. So it is a lot different and it's a different role for me, but like I'm accepting it and it's, I don't know, it seems to be working out. We get to just like find find our rhythm and you know for the next four years we'll be playing together and so it's going to be super cool seeing how like from freshman year how we've um, progressed to senior year. It's been a rough season so far for the Lady Raiders starting one and six. We've started off a little slow but we've been in every set no one's blown us out and so you can see it and it's, it's so close and I think once they finally win that big game uh, similar to the game that we had last year against Marshall and then North Texas uh, they'll start believing that all the hype that myself and my staff has been saying for the last you know, few months that they are, this is a special group. A bright spot, the play of Amelia Vanderwer. She received Conference USA Freshman of the Week honors a couple of weeks ago. Coming here and then seeing that like hard work really does pay off, like having something like that, it, um, it really made me happy that finally, like all of the hard work that I put in finally Something happened, I guess. She's a stud. She's every day in the gym, you know what you're going to get from her. She comes in, works hard every single day, and everybody loves her. She's like a ray of sunshine for us, and she's awesome. Head coach Chuck Crawford will lean on the experience of Kayla Henley, a preseason all-conference player, a sophomore who played valuable minutes last year. We had some really great seniors, four seniors that really led the way. And our hope was is that players like Kayla Henley, uh, which which is a captain, which she's a captain this year, that she would learn from those seniors. Now she's our only returning player with six rotations of experience. We have a few other players that play three rotation, but she's our only six rotation player. I feel like we're we're not far off. We're very close to being like able to win here. So I feel like it's not much of a big like thing that I like personally I need to do. I feel like it's just like putting the little pieces together and then everything's just gonna work. A youth movement in Murfreesboro with a little harmless fun <laughs> along the way. Chris Bacon, ESPN Plus.